Hey, what's up guys? It's Emma and Christian here, and today we're going to be talking about Get Even. Get Even is a first-person shooter that doubles as a psychological thriller. The game opens with a guy called Cole Black, a hired assassin who's trying to save a girl that has a bomb strapped to her chest. The bomb explodes and Black wakes up in a run-down asylum where he realises that he's suffering with amnesia. This is also where we meet Red, who seems like he's in control of everything that will happen to Black. Red tells Black about the Pandora device, which is sort of like a VR headset that enables the user to relive their memories, and Black is then forced to use it to uncover information for Red. We won't go any further than that with regards to the story as we don't really want to spoil it for you. So the game is relatively short. It took us around five hours to finish the game. If you wanted to cover everything and collect every single scrap of story, that will probably take you closer to 7 or 8 hours to complete. The developer claims that it can take players up to 15 hours to finish, but I doubt that very much. So Get Even starts off very strong. Early on, you're introduced to the corner gun which, funnily enough, lets you shoot around corners without putting yourself in danger. So as you can see this gun is pretty much just a gun with a phone attached to it. So this isn't just any old phone. This phone features a UV light, a map, thermal vision and a scanner which will help you to both identify objects and distinguish what's real and what isn't. The gun seemed useful enough until we wanted to use multiple features at once, which basically just isn't possible. This kind of hinders the player a bit. A lot of the areas are quite dark, so we ended up using the UV light as a torch, but this meant trading some of the other features, like the map, for a bit of extra light. While the gun is somewhat unique and versatile, it doesn't give players everything they need at once, and forces you to constantly switch. Rather than focus on the story itself, we're more interested in talking about how it's presented to its players. A sizeable portion of the story is constructed by the player as they find out more information. So, there's a lot of things to find and, consequently, a lot of things to miss. There's no denying that this game has a great amount of depth, but I didn't feel motivated to explore it as much as the developer probably intended. Get Even has plenty to offer in terms of context for what's going on, but in all honesty, I stopped caring about the story at the halfway point. This game can be split into two halves. Without spoiling it too much, we can say that you'll play the first half and then sort of replay parts of what you've already seen in the second half. This is quite disappointing as the game is short, even at its maximum forecast length of 15 hours. To have the second half repeating parts of the first half was really disengaging and a lot of the effects that were exhibited in the first half felt overdone by midway through the second half. Looking back on the game now that I've finished it, I much prefer the first half to the second it's way more interesting to discover things rather than just revisit them and I felt more engaged when I felt uncertain of the story and my surroundings than I did when I understood more of what was actually going on. It may sound as though we're being overly negative about Get Even, but that's not our intention at all. The game isn't bad by any stretch of the imagination, it just doesn't do a great job at maintaining all the things that make it so interesting in the first place. Thanks so much for watching our video review for Get Even. We hope it was informative while avoiding too much spoiler material. You know the drill by now, if you like this video, smash that like button, share this with your friends and comment to let us know what you think of the game. We'd also really appreciate it if you could subscribe to our channel. The more subscribers we get, the more games we get to review, so you'd really be helping us out. Have a good day and keep an eye out for more of our videos coming soon.